Hey guys, Triple D Cat here, according to the Zombie Arcade. This is a live commentary. Playing myself some Rush on Demohan Peak here in uh, in Battlefield 3. And in this video, I wanted to talk about. By the way, I know uh, there was some, some demand to see the next Metro video today. Sorry guys, it'll be tomorrow. Gotta get a BF3 video done, and this is something that I really wanted to talk about. So uh, so here we are, and it's it's something that's sort of been brewing in the back of my mind for a long time, but I've just, just something that happened recently has sort of pushed this to the forefront of my mind and made me really want to talk about this. And I, I've made videos on a little bit of a similar uh, tilt before, but, you know, once again, there, there's more stuff going down now, and I want to talk about this again, and that's, it's sort of about the state of the game and about what's what's happening with the ongoing support for the game and, and sort of the level of quality of that, and what sort of brought this up in my mind uh, recently... I'm going to fly the helicopter, because fuck it. What sort of brought this up in my... I'm not flying, that's okay. And holy crap, I don't want to have this kit. Anyway... What brought this to my attention recently was the double XP event that was meant to happen over the past weekend, and as I understand it, uh, went ahead absolutely fine on console, but oh, right, I'm using a new FXAA injector. I forgot about that, that's why the colors look kind of off. Anyway, uh, let's, let's not worry about that right now. So, what brought that... This is the forefront of my mind. The double XP event, uh, yeah, which uh, it didn't it didn't quite work out on PC. People weren't getting the double XP, and uh, basically what Dice said is, okay, well, we'll delay it two weeks so that you can get the full weekend of double XP. And I mean that seems okay in in some ways, but why the fuck do I have this anyway? Um, <laughs> I have I've made some mistakes in my life, guys. Anyway. And you can sort of justify that, you know, the the, uh, the delay there. I mean, you can see they want to give people a full weekend. You can say, well, they want it to be, you know, a weekend, uh, not during the week, so we'll, we'll take advantage of it. That's all good, but I guess the problem, the thing that... Holy crap, I'm getting my, my shit pushed in here, as they would say in this game. The thing that really bothered me is that there's been a lot of uh, disquiet in the community lately, and I know, uh, I mean... I don't know how aware of this you guys are going to be, but there's been a lot of movement in the community lately uh, with people who are unhappy with the game. There, there's been some things going on there to try and get you know Dice to lift their game a little bit, and Dice are aware of it. They, there's they sort of they've said they're taking a bit of notice. They said, yeah, I, I don't want to talk too much about exactly what's been going down because that's not the point of this video. But the point is, Dice are aware that a lot of people are unhappy. That there have been some pretty serious grumblings from the community with the state of the game, unhappy about things like the level of suppression, the M26 glitch, which is a real game breaker, and, I mean, honestly, that should have been fixed days after the patch came out. It, it, that should not, that glitch should not still be here. And I know there's, like, a verification process on console, but that's something that they could have fixed for the PC version of the game in days, and something that can be, is a real game breaker, and should have been fixed as quickly as possible on, uh, on each platform. And so there's a lot of unhappiness in the community about DICE's support for the game lately and about the, the state the game is in at the moment. And so I sort of thought the double XP weekend was kind of a way, uh, an opportunity for DICE to say, well, okay, let's do something sort of nice for the community. It doesn't, I don't personally care. I mean, I'm at the max rank. I've got pretty much everything unlocked. XP, double XP doesn't affect me. But the way I saw it was as DICE trying to do something for the community, that would that would make people a little bit happier. That would just be a, a nice thing to do for the community in a time they're unhappy. And first of all, for for them to have not tested it to even see if it's going to work on PC apparently is really lame. The fact that it, it didn't work, and secondly, the fact that it's been delayed two weeks. I mean, if it had been the next weekend, or if they had said, "Oh, we'll fix it," and we'll give you forty-eight hours for when we fix it, that would have been a bit understandable. But why why is it going to take him? two weeks to, to set that up again. And it's it's a really minor thing, the double EXP weekend itself. As I said, I don't really care about getting double experience. That doesn't bother me. That's not the issue here. The issue here is that it's it's like one more strike against DICE where they're, they're showing themselves to be either incompetent or that they just don't give a fuck. And it's, it's kind of hard to say which, but... As I sort of think about uh, the way the game was when it came out, the things that have happened since the game's release, uh, it seems more like 
And the way the game feels in general, it, it almost feels like dice just don't care. I mean, with, with the old Battlefields, when you played, you know, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 2, 1942, Vietnam, any of those older Battlefield games, I always had the feeling that this game was, that the game was made by people who cared about their game, who were passionate for the project they were working on, and who wanted the game to succeed, not just, you know, to get money, but also because, you know, they wanted to make an entertaining game, they wanted to make a good product. And with BF3, I, somehow I don't feel that. I mean... When the game first came out, it was it was not in that good of a state, and people sort of said, "Oh well, well Battlefield games are often, uh, you know, have problems when they release, and they always get fixed up within a few months, you know, six months or so." But the state the game's in this long after release is a little bit disheartening, and it's been a really long time between patches. Dice has been really uncommunicative, and the patches we've received, I mean, I feel the game is a lot better now than it release overall. But the patches we've received have honestly not been enough, not been what they should have been. And to me, it, it seems like, it feels like when, I'm, when I play this game that there's just not the same level of, of love and drive and passion behind it from DICE. It's like, it's like they were tired of making Battlefield games, but EA told them, yeah, we need to make BF3. And, and DICE said, well, okay, if we have to. And I, that's, that's what it feels like to me. It feels like DICE just don't care about this IP anymore. Like, they'd rather be doing something else, maybe. I, I don't know. And I, I love this game. I actually do really, really like the game. You guys know that. I, I talk about it often enough that I do get a lot of enjoyment out of this game, but it gets, you know, as much as I like the game, it's hard for me to defend DICE as a developer at this point when so consistently. It, it seems like, I don't know what it is. It feels like they're lazy or incompetent or bored or something because... I'm just, I'm, I don't know, I guess I'm just really frustrated uh, to a certain extent, because I've always been one of, Di one of like, DICE's biggest supporters, and I've always defended this game and said that uh, it gets way more shit than it deserves. People hate on this game a lot more than, than uh, they should, even though it does have its problems. But it gets harder and harder for me to sort of stand by DICE when they can't even, you know, do something basic, something that should be simple, for the community, like a double EXP weekend at a time when the community is upset, and they managed to fuck that up, and then to delay it by two weeks when, I mean, surely they sh it should just be, they should have been able to figure out what the problem was and have it done and good to go within a matter of hours when they realized it wasn't working. And I mean, when, <laughs> when it wasn't working and people were starting to realize, you know, people were sending tweets to BF3 devs and stuff like that, I mean, Gustav Holling said, who's a, who's a designer on, for DICE, said, I think the double XP should be rewarded at the end of the weekend or something. I mean, he didn't even know what was going on. And this is a guy, I mean, maybe, you know, it, it probably wasn't his department. It wasn't probably his job to know what was happening. But it just seems weird that somebody working at DICE wouldn't, would, would you know, make some weird guesses about what's going on instead of saying, huh, I guess there's a problem, I'll see if I can get that fixed or something. You know, or, you know, I'll find out what's going on. I, I don't know, it just... I guess it's just... As I said, the double XP event is a tiny thing. It's a little thing to me. It doesn't fucking matter to me in the, in the slightest, really, but it's just... That's what it comes down to, is that there's this... All these little things that have happened, and these little sort of disappointments and signs that things, you know, aren't quite... I don't know. It, it, there's just these little signs that something's not... Right, behind the scenes, you know, things are not going smoothly, they're not going as smoothly as they should be, especially, and, I, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of weak, that's, I guess, I guess that's how I put it, it's just not, it's just not cool, guys, and I'm, what I'm really hoping is, I want, I, I really want to see DICE lift their game and make, you know, make BF3 all it can be, but, I, I don't know, Things have just been getting me down lately. I've still been enjoying playing the game, but as, as you guys can tell from my ranting here, and it, it was indeed some uh, pretty disjointed rambling, I apologize for that. I'm, I don't know, I'm a little bit emotional, guys. I don't really, I didn't really think it through massively before I sat down to record this video. I just sort of sat down and went, and 
I don't know, I guess, I guess I'm guess i just feeling a little bit let down, a little bit disappointed at this point, and, you know, it's, it's as somebody who's always stood by this game, always defended it, and always sort of defended DICE, you know, as much as I could, it's getting to the point where I feel like I can't do that anymore, and I don't like that, because I wanted to see this game, it did succeed commercially, and, and to an extent critically, but in the eyes of the hardcore gaming community, and in the eyes of a lot of old school BF Battlefield players, this game was not is not a successful title. It it was a letdown in a lot of ways, and I was you know hoping and hoping and hoping Dice were going to make this game all it could be, but they've consistently shown that it's it's just not happening. Like how my team has consistently shown that they're just not going to fucking defend the objectives, you know, and it, it falls to me. Trouble with cat to do everything. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, detonated there. I think I pretty much covered the topic I wanted to cover. This game's about to be over though, so I'll play out the rest of this match. Not leave you guys hanging. This uh this FXA injector settings seem pretty good. It might be a tiny bit, you know, oversaturated or a little bit too much bloom or something for this holy shit, but it does seem a tiny bit more colorful. <laughs> I, was, I was joking around with my friend the other day, like, huh, what are what Endgame's gonna have? I mean, like, because maybe, maybe in Endgame they'll include colors. That'd be cool. I, I don't know, I... <laughs> I don't mind the graphics of BF3 that much or anything, but it, it is a little bit uh, desaturated. It gets a little bit depressing to look at the, uh... the blue filter everywhere, for, for example. Which is why I finally... I mean, I've known about FXA injectors that can mess with the colors for a while, and I, I finally decided, yeah, fuck it. I'll give it a go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know. Let me know how you feel about BF3. I think a lot of you sort of share my views. Leading my team there with nine for eleven, with the most points on my team by a long way, on account of actually doing some fucking objectives. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe Dice will pull through in the end. Maybe it seems foolish to hope at this point. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Until then, Triple T Cat out.